Layers are awesome. You know what's also awesome? Layer folders. So let's color this. Make a new layer and let's color it in a bit. Let's pick a color. This one is nice. Fill that one. And might as well uh, also fill in the face here. Really nice. And let's uh, let's shade this. So we make a new layer and we set it to multiply. Pick a, mm, some random shade. I like this one. That's nice. Yeah. Since first off, we're gonna make a cast shadow like this. Oh, yeah. Really nice. So we know that it's on the ground. Let's change the color actually. Uh, there we go, much better. And then we're just, just gonna fill in the color here. Go. Let's see if uh, sure it's on all layers. There we go. Good, good. Awesome. So now when I have this, let's make um, some uh, something for it to stand on. New layer, maybe some grass. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and as we all know, is multiply. It matches the underlying color like this. Really neat. Uh huh. Uh huh. But say if we have a very complicated artwork that we are working on with like a lot of stuff that has its own base color and line art and the shadows and such and we want to have some control over it. Then we can make a layer folder. Let's, let's do that. So we create a folder there. Select here. See that little check mark? The multiply the base. And then we're just gonna drag it there. Oop! But what happened? What happened to the cast shadow? Why is the cast shadow light pink? It shouldn't. It shouldn't be light pink. Well, the reason why is because in Clip you have to set the layer folder to throw. Now it's set to normal. We set it to throw. All adjustment layers will affect the layers outside the folder. But if it's set to not through, it will uh, only affect the layers that it is inside the folder itself. So now that we have everything, all our layers in that folder, we can just take this move tool and we can move this little ball everywhere we want. And that's how the folder works in Clip Studio. So if you bump into this problem, you can avoid prevent it by going to the preferences and in layer frame here, set blending mode throw when creating layer folder. Check that and every folder that you will create from now on will automatically be set as throw if you want it that way. And that's today's crash course in Clip Studio. <laughs>